Hey guys, you and welcome back to my 2016 Juventus Chroma, where last time I off I picked up, up more wins and was successful over Roma. Eh. Ah. Ah, in a huge, huge game. And this is so I have another huge game against another top up for a rival. It's third place, Napoli. And it's on Valentine's Day. But there will be no love between these two teams. I just want to say, I truly believe when this correspond, when the when this fixture happens in real life on Sunday, if the scheduling is the same, I'm not sure. It might be on Saturday. I don't know. Actually, I think the 14th is a Saturday, is it? No, 14th is a Sunday, okay. The 14th is a Sunday, so... This is... In real life, this match, the match between Juventus and Napoli, whoever... If Juventus win, they will win Serie A. If Napoli win, they could take it. They will have it in the palm of their hands. That's in real life. In the game, in a mile there. Head of everybody. He, 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 let's get that up. Oh, as it's known, is staying in, in Turin. But in real life, Napoli could win it. I'm not gonna. I want to jinx them and say that they are gonna win it. It, it. I will say they have a very good chance. I believe. If they can get the three points against Juventus when they, when these two teams meet, meet, especially at Juventus' stadium, then they will put. I think it will be a five-point gap between them and Juventus then, and and it will really be tough for Juventus to win the league unless Napoli drop points. That's in real life, though. Like I said, in the game, I'm I'm dominating. So I've only dropped two points all season, and I don't well, intend to drop any more between now or in the end of the season. Hopefully, you know. Anyway, at least not until I've won the league. Wholesale changes for Napoli. Pepe Reina starts in goal. Fabinho starts with Paolo and yeah. Jose starts, looking to continue his great form in midfield. Gonzalo Iguain is the sole striker. Of course. Shots on here. Catching practice for Buffon. I have to beat Napoli to to keep that run going, and that's not going to be an easy game. Although I gave him quite a bad beating the when we met earlier in the season, so. Yeah. Between the two of them there. They're so Should they remember that? Of course. I've not conceded a goal. Yes. Makes this team so hard to beat is the fact that everybody works hard out of possession. Starts at the front the strikers. Well not in the league anyway. I I did concede a goal in the Champions League. Now the shot! No scraps for the attack. So, uh, I haven't seen it, but just not in the league. In the league, I still well, am pitch perfect. Now, well, the flag's up. Yeah, let's just let's say Bardi is offside. Maybe he made his run a bit too soon. I don't know. The game's set. Uh, Leon. Uh, Leon. Then it's straight to Alan. And Signe. Pre poor cross there from the uh, Italian. And then I could counter. I could counter. If I can get past the Napoli defender. And 
Throw. Take it quickly, Barrard. Yes. Nucci. Back to Barrard. What a pass. Yes. He could get a decent cross in here. Her. Her. Corner. Corner. It's off of uh, our injury. Yeah. Hmm. Try this again. Chile! Yes! Chile scores for the second episode in a row. He scored in the last episode as well. Oh. Oh. He is coming out. And that is a crucial goal. Oh. Well, he didn't give Reina much of a chance. It's Not sure what Insigne is doing. That's your job on the when you're put on the post. You're supposed to prevent the ball from going in. I mean, he kind of walked away from the ball. Oh, oh. Well, he didn't seem to put any effort in to tr try and stop it from going in. No, oh, oh, a poor decision there by the un a poor decision by the young winger. After the poor cross. That led to the corners, which led to the goal. Oh, and the fact that he he could have easily he could have probably could have easily he headed the ball away. Okay, so in seeing a very poor for on the uh, at least from my standpoint, he looked to be a very big fault. There uh, on the on the goal, so uh, he has been pressed there to running the ball out of play. The young Italian winger, unfortunately, has uh, you'll have to look back at that if that's the winner and say, Yeah, probably should have done better there. Get the ball clear. Pogba. Oh wow, that's probably gonna be yellow. Red! What? Why is that a red? Oh wow. That is gonna. That's gonna make things complicated. El Caduri. That's great work by the goalkeeper. Back no back. idea. That should not have been a red. It shouldn't have been a red. I don't know what to do. I mean. So here we go with the second half. I guess I just have to hold on and try to get a second goal. Pull some out. Look at how that affect me. Come on. I might end up conceding my first goal in this match because of that. See so. Then just a throw. That's good. That's good. Go back to Molo while they're not expecting me to pass it to him. Rossi! Straight up, Reina. Brilliant. Oh, and he's suspended for the Bologna game as well. Well, it's just. On EA Sports soon, presenting. Yeah, there's a confirmation of the Bologna game. I mean. Yeah, an important three points coming up for grabs here. Can't wait for it. I think they have someone. They probably do have someone who can come in for that match. Yes, the ball! And the ball fell to him, and he's buried it. It's 2 0. Even down to 10 men, it doesn't matter. Sandra. Look, and we lost the ball at the end, but it fell nicely to the ball, and no one is picking him up. Uh, and he slots it home.
the ball restarted his restarted his goal scoring run against Napoli. And really with the hat trick. He scored a hat trick against them. I'm sure uh, Pepper Arena has not forgotten that. Alan does love having the ball, this fella. Just lent it to his teammate for a moment. El Cadori. Yeah, I got that second goal. That's going to keep things a lot easier. Well, in terms of now they have to at least score twice. Once under. We do good defending. El Cadori. Alan. Well, you can see what he was Come trying on, to do. Anderson. Give it to Sa Sandro. Go. Go, Sandro. Go. Oh. To the bar. Ah. Where is the uh, Napoli defense? They've gone walkabout. Oh. And oh. Why did. Why didn't you run onto the ball? Oh, I think that was a. Rarity. The substitution. If. Lack of days ago, uh, work there from Berard, he had Kobe, so he's been 3 0. Actually, he should have been 3 0. Hamshik. Hamshik. Jose Callahan. Got up! Oof! Hansik with the shot of uh, too high to be any kind of bother to uh, Gianluigi Buffon. Mertens. Clear that. Anderson. Clear that. Yes. Over the top floor. Oh. Oh, no, I'm not going to get there. And on the clock, eight more minutes. Baratti. Baratti. Intercepting play there to get his positional situation right and win the ball without too much effort. There's a new player coming on for Napoli from the bench. Jose Callahan. Gula. Shots on here. And that goalkeeper can just saunter out and pick that kick up. Kick that. So for a goal kick. Yep. Because no one wanted to try and get there. Substitution time. Definitely making another substitution. Kevin Dini looks like he came on. Yeah, he did. It's not gonna make any sort of difference. He's giving it straight to the opposition. And even with the red card, I didn't can see a goal. Unless I can see a very late one. Nope, there's the full time whistle. Tribute to their fitness and to their character. Even the very solid victory despite the red card to Paul Pogba uh, just before the half time. He's got the tune. Well, both of goals were fair. Serie A, Fiorentina. He avoided a war if you're Napoli. Juventus two. He, but I don't give a shit because my 22 point lead, he at the top of the table is restored. Sampdoria one, Atalanta one, Udinese one, Bologna one. Juventus with 73 points. In second, AC Milan. Confirmation of Pogba's suspension. Let's see who did I put. Uh, it's probably going to have to be. Probably going to have to be. In sixth, moving down. The Mina with 40 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In seventh, rising up the table are Chievo Verona with 36 points. In eighth, climbing the table are Inter with. So that's who's gonna 
going for the match against Bologna. Rising up the table are Sampdora with 24 points. Sometimes, sometimes the teams will be playing and it doesn't come up. So, thanks EA. Thanks for the very buggy game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got a great game for you today. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. We're both really looking forward to describing it for you. Bologna playing today against Juventus. The great chance for a nice big victory. Ooh, almost got an instant start. Oh, nice comfortable victory getting a few early goals. Well, it's just a, you know, because it's... The defender who got there first quite easily, actually. to uh, comfortably win this match. Uh, lost control. It's so mistake though. Uh, in our chances of winning. And the visiting mm -hmm. team were mm -hmm. very, very big winners mm -hmm. the last time these two teams met. But no two games. We don't need to see all the cards here from the referee, and he's keeping the cards in his pocket. Just a free kick. I'll give in there on the, uh, on the referee. For oh, one, not sure. Anderson. Frati. Dybala. Come on, Anderson. Come on, Anderson. Yes, he got there. Penalty. Let me not. Oh. Given by the With a hell of a goal. With his first. Chiellini. Oof. It was actually Chiellini again. <laughs> He's looking for another goal. We've oh. got his fist to it. Bratti! Oh, and he scored it! And I think that is his first goal since joining the old lady. He, and it is an absolute thunder cunt. Well, let's look at the goal for Juventus. Well, the defenders just stood rooted to the spot on the edge of the... Yes, the keeper has done exactly in the best position to try and save it. But that's a very good strike. And it's a very good goal. All from the uh, Italian central midfielder. Or... Juventus are ahead. I'm going to acknowledge that it was his first goal of this season as the game. It's just like, yeah, yeah, get yeah, on with it. I'll take the free kick. What is the referee going to do here? Looking ahead on EA Sports and our football coverage, the Serie A fixture, Bologna will be facing Palermo away from home. Yeah. Given their respective form, I think this is going to be a good game. Big Sandro, looking for a good cross. It's cut out for it and get to the ball. Huh? Are we going to see it again? It's given them the lead here. Well, he certainly struck it with an all. Oh, and there was a bit of curve on it. 
curved in, and that could have easily gone out. Nucci! Wants to get on the uh, score sheet just like his uh, center defensive partner or, or has recently. Tell me it's in a red. Please don't be in it at all, for fuck's sake. What am I doing? They've got to try and defend this lead. A man light. Yeah, he's getting some dirty looks as he goes off from his teammates because they've got to work really hard to maintain this lead now. Sliding in and uh, taking his part in the game. What in the name of God am I doing? Poor tackle, it was badly timed. Did the exact same thing, only earlier. It may not matter. Oh, Anderson's off site. I can't believe it. Stupid bad tackle again. A good time does better. Yeah, it's the goalkeeper's ball. Now I'm going to be under pressure to get that second goal. We'll get a bit of brain split. He's... Dead ball. He might be through. Now, for corner. Leading by one goal. It's a corner that the uh, goal came from. Out to Verratti! Oh, he can't repeat his, uh, his heroics from a few moments ago. Chilean. Obo Sandro is cut out though. Chiellini. Positional play. Loses the ball, no. Five minutes? Hang on a second, where did the five minutes come from? And don't say it was the red card, because you can't get five minutes for one goddamn red card. Well, it's a sensible move here, I think. For me, I got 45 minutes, so I'm gonna have to make sure my. I have a back four for the second half. But uh, you can understand the move. One thing to get a, a red card when you. in a position. I mean, defense is real. You have to have four defenders, or five defenders, or three. At all times, you can't lose a defender, and if you do, you have to somehow get on another one on the pitch, unless you are, of course, out of substitutions, because then you fucked. It's another very good save, and it didn't get away from him the ball either. Gini, where are you going? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be Get back into the center or back position, you dope. Already. Now that's a throw. He runs it out of play. Brilliant. It's going to be a change here. And it looks like a strategic one. Good save by Gianluigi Buffon and clear. Hurt. Hurt. That's why I want to see. Anderson. Come on, someone get in the box. Tully so is there. Oh, how did you miss? 
chance of that chance, it would have been two goals in front. Bring me a recognized goal scorer. Yes, I know he scored a couple all this season, but he's not a recognizable goal scorer. That's the problem Liverpool have with Christian Benteke. We don't. He's not a recognizable goal scorer. He can't score goals. And the ball's gone again. There's the ball in. Terrific stop. Well, corner count rises and rises. Uh... Check on the corner count. Come on, yes! Oh, off the line! Back again! Level up! Fuck's sake! Just a flick on with the head. Jenny. Clearly so. There is some uh, backup for him in this position. Okay. Oh, back into the box. Anderson. Sorry, that was a. Uh... Was that? I think it was Sandra actually. Not paying attention. I'm focusing more on the trying to get the ball on the back and I'm not paying attention to who has the ball at any given time. Priority. That's a useful ball in. Tough for a corner. Come on, take it quickly. Okay, they've used all three substitutions. No. Yes! Oh, that was a poor header, actually. From Talisa. Well, maybe next time. I think we'll see with these possession stats, Alan. That yes, the, uh, oh. Another chance. You can pretty much say he squandered. <clears throat> Juventus regained possession here. It's a strong tackle right by the touchline. It's put the ball out for a throw. The countdown is on. Anderson. Nine minutes now. Come on, Anderson. Puts it in. Party! Yes! Oh, tipped over the bar! Anderson with a fantastic cross. Party, not the best header, but it, it gave the keeper something to work with. Or something for the keeper to stop from going in. Anderson, balls up in the air. Coming down to Verratti, now it's clear. Oh, it's a no-go! <laughs> what the hell? What was that? They've absolutely made a howler of a mistake. What the fuck was that? Goalkeeper, oh my god, friend, I think you just lost your place in the in the bowling I go. I don't know who your understudy is, but god damn, he just became the new belonging number one. Wow. What happened? I don't actually And it looked like a routine pass back and it kind of like rolled. It almost like it rolled through his foot and into the goal. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. I, I will take it because it's 2-0. Oh, that's definitely the three points in the bag. Hey, there's the full-time whistle just to confirm it. What a crazy session of FIFA that was. Two red cards, two 2-0 two victories, and the... One of the strangest own goals you were ever likely to see in FIFA. Also, an absolute boot belter. So, one goal was absolutely brilliant, the other was completely fucking mental. Oh, oh and should never have happened. Oh my god, I still don't understand what actually happened on that own goal. I don't care. I still, I just don't understand.
I will take it though. I will take it. Three points in the bag. Thank you very much. Fiorentina, three. Bologna, nil. Juventus, two. Frosinone, two. Lazio, three. Genoa, nil. Udinese, three. Hellas, Verona, nil. The first game and next episode, I will play a Leon in the first. At the top of the table remain Juventus with 76 points. Second, AC Milan with 51 points with a game in hand. Like of the last 16 tie. In fourth, Napoli with 46 points with a game in hand on the team above. In fifth, climbing the table are Lazio with 43 points. In sixth and falling are Palermo with 41 points. In seventh, Chievo Verona with 39 points. In eighth, Inter with 39 points. And, uh, yeah. I also have a game against Inter Milan in the league, so two pretty high profile games. Things that I will need to win. Unfortunately, I will be without Benucci for the game against Inter Milan because the. Oh, his. His suspension won't affect. Won't apply to the uh to the to European football. That, that's not how it works at all. Let's uh, quickly do the training. See if I get any growth. Nope. Despite the fact that Borshagli went up in print in all his stats, he didn't go up in his overall. Yeah, two big games in the next episode. So, this crazy episode is gonna. Is, I'm just gonna end this crazy episode here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And make sure to like if you did. Subscribe for more videos soon. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day.